Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Gemini. Ooh, see, <laughs> we have repeat. Yeah. So your guides are wanting to warn you about a cycle that's coming back around. You run the risk of repeating the same story, whether it's setting boundaries or fighting the courage to speak up for yourself. It's time to do things differently. This was actually kind of coming through. Um, was this coming through in the, um, maybe it wasn't, but. You have clearing. It's almost like the cycle, there's a cycle that's coming back around for you guys. But this time around, you guys are like less codependent on whatever this is or whoever this is because you have found fulfillment outside of the connection with them or in this situation like you're not codependent on this person or situation to bring you happiness and fulfillment and contentment so now when this situation comes around if this person's not coming if, if they're coming toward you in an energy that does not serve you or they're not coming towards you correct it's like you will have no problem like clearing away the situation or blocking the situation rejecting the situation um it's like you're going to be doing things differently because you are different you are in a different you, you've healed um more or you're you're in a different mind state yeah we have rebellion no more playing get safe you're learning to care less about what others think and get in tune with your inner rebel time to discover your truth authentic self while you reap the benefits okay we have challenge here be proud of all that you've lived through and always find the good and the bad. You have the power to rise up to the challenge and build your own doors for opportunity to knock on. Support. Someone will enter your life to your life to offer their support and stimulate your personal growth. Their act of kindness will help you see and believe in the magic within you. It's almost like there's somebody in your energy who cares too much about what people think. Like they listen too much to people's opinions about how they should live their life or who they should be with or what they should do. And they've been taking certain actions or in a state of inaction based off of like what other people are telling them that they need to do or what they know that other people wouldn't approve of something here. But it's like keeping them from, it's like they're not living in their authenticity, authenticity because there's something that they are craving or feel drawn to that they want to do. This could be somebody that wants to be with you, but there's somebody or there people, there's people around them that don't approve of the connection or there's other people that have opinions about who they should be with or if they should be with you, if they should, what they should do. And they've been listening too much about that. There's something here about rebellion. Somebody needs to listen to their own inner guidance when it comes to making a decision about this situation regarding you, where this is you or somebody in your energy. They're not living in their truth because they're not pursuing what they love or what they really want to do. What they feel passionate about. Yeah. It's like you came into this person's life and you definitely have stimulated growth in them. They probably have stimulated growth in you as well. And um, they've kind of helped you see, you know, growing, knowing your worth, um, heal, same for them. It's kind of like you guys are, have realized that you are the table. You bring the table to the table. Yep. Yep. Like that lotto, those lotto lyrics. Bring the table to the table. Why would you need this person? Hmm. So now it says you have the power to rise up to the challenge and build your own doors for opportunity to knock on. So if this person wants to be with you, if they want this opera, if somebody wants this opportunity with you, this could be even like a job offer. They're going to have to be able, willing to pay you more. Or it has to, if it's a love situation, this person's going to have to come towards you correct or not come towards you at all because you don't need them. At some point, you guys were in an energy like where you were needy, like whether it was energetically needy or you were literally chasing this person. And it was almost kind of like repelling this, like it was repelling it. Yeah, we have angelic help. Yep, the past. So this is definitely a past person. 
Yeah, your angels are relieving you of your burdens. You'll notice you'll begin to feel lighter, your worries and fears fading away and embracing your own inner breakthrough. Yeah, you're not so burdened by this past person anymore. They don't have like the same pull or power or effect on you as they used to. A situation or someone from the past will return either to finish unfinished business or to give you closure. You will have to decide if it's worth revisiting or leaving it in the past. I don't know, guys. For some of you, we have, look at this, balance, marriage, forgiveness, victory, and action. So for some of you, for whoever's reading this is, I don't know. Somebody needs to take action towards you. If they want you, they're going to have to take action towards you. This is somebody that's possibly been waiting for you. It's going to be very important for you. Like this card is saying, you have the power to rise up to the challenge and build your own doors for opportunity to knock on. They're saying that you need to let this person come to you and come towards you correct. And once this person has the courage and the strength to do that, there could there is a possibility for marriage and victory, but it's going to require forgiveness. For some of you, though, you're finally getting over something or someone, and though it wasn't easy, you will ultimately forgive and move on to peacefully set yourself free. What does this forgiveness mean for this connection? Is this them forgiving them and then forgetting them, or is this but we'd have marriage right after that? Maybe you guys need to kind of forgive and release this situation to bring in this connection that's going to lead to marriage. What does forgiveness mean to this connection? Are they going to, we have intuition. No, this is reconciliation. Self-love though, yeah. I don't know. Somebody is going to want to reconcile with you, but I just see you like acting in your own self, best self-interest. Can they trust this person? We do have miracle here. Yep. Whoever, this person's a part of your soul tribe. Romance, I'm telling you. It's like, it's gonna, it's, it's something about like, for you and this person to be able to move forward, there will be victory, there will be success, there will be balance, there will be marriage. But it's gonna require you to have to, you know, to forgive this person. And I feel like that's where it's gonna maybe be hard for you because of whatever they did to you. Yep. But it's, it's just detachment. Break down your walls. You're losing touch with the world and not giving yourself a chance to connect with other people. Learn to open up to others and accept those who are different, including you. This could also be like, because you're a scorned, because of whatever this person puts you through, you may not be like, you may be guarded to like even new other people, you know, just because you're you're just worried this, that they're going to do you like this person did you. But you're not, if you're that scorned or you're that closed off, you're not going to let, you know, let certain things come to you or let certain things in. So, Yeah. But I see reconciliation energy, energy, a miracle. Yeah, with a soulmate. Perspective. Learning. Yeah, you guys are, yeah, your ancestors, yeah. Your ancestors have a lot to do with whatever's going on right now. They're trying to lead you to abundance. Big life changes coming in as you heal. I don't know, it does say a new partnership is making its way into your life. who will see your true potential and help you reach it. They're going to give you the recognition that you deserve. Yeah, you're going to get justice here. What does that mean for this past person? Is it the past person or a new person? I don't know. We do have the Empress here and we have Perseverance. They're just telling you to keep going. You're going through a big transformation. What does action mean for this person? That, is this the past person? Relocation and talent. Ooh, some of you guys are maybe going to relocate for work or um, relocate to be like... Yeah, you will feel empowered to share a unique talent that comes easily to you. One that will give you an endless flow of creativity, sense of peace and freedom. Huh. And this may require you to relocate or have some type of change in home. Hmm. Secrecy. Science. New love. Some of you, it's, it, for some of you, it's new love. Hmm. All right, let's get into this deeper. Um, <laughs> let's see. What is going? What do they need? What? I don't know. Let's see. Whatever comes out, comes out.
We have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are, de oh, 11, 11 on the camera. Nice. You guys are definitely in alignment. Like, you guys could even be seeing 11, 11. Abundance. You guys, excuse me, guys. Self-sufficiency, luxury, self-worth. Like, you know your work, your money is looking good, you're independent, you're living a good life. You're, being, you're re reaping the rewards of all the effort and work you put into things. Yep, Six of Cups here, though. Mm -hmm. What about Six of Cups? The Ten of Swords. You definitely were hurt really bad in the past. Yeah. Yeah, you, this plagued you. Yeah, this did definitely plagued you. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Okay. Openness. What about the Six of Cups? The Eight of Swords. You guys have just been really up in your head about the past. It's been keeping you stuck. Is this you or is this somebody else? Some of the Ten of Swords. Somebody's viewing something as a missed opportunity. Oh, is some... Oh. Oh. You know what? This isn't even you. I feel like, what is the um, four of pentacles in reverse? The seven of wands. Yeah, you guys are in a, yeah, you're in a much more guarded energy now. I think that before you guys were, you were doing very well for yourself, but you were very giving and open, like, and generous with that. You know what I mean? At some point, but because of what you've gone through with this person, you guys are in a more guarded energy, a more intolerant energy, a more self-protective energy, Okay. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, we don't have too many signs out here yet, but we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, there's somebody else here who cannot, is stuck in their head about the past. They're stuck on this ending with you. They're stuck on things that happened to them before they met you. They're viewing you as a missed opportunity. They're heartbroken over this ending. They're stressed. They're losing sleep over you. This is somebody that wants to make amends for you. I don't know if they're stressed out too because something was revealed. Tell me, why are they stressed out? Who is this? Why are they so stressed? Because somebody wasn't listening to their intuition and it was keeping them in indecision between you and somebody else. Mm-hmm. Was it revealed to you that they were they had a decision between you and another person? Okay, what does this mean for my collective? The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You guys stopped putting focus in on this person that was being manipulative and cold, and just, they were being they weren't honest with you, or somebody was not being honest with you about why they were not working on this like they should have with you. That they were being low effort. Yep, things weren't getting where you wanted it to, or you guys was set a goal and it just never got there because this person wasn't focusing on you. They weren't. Yeah, and it's like because this person was being honest with you, they were juggling you. So again, what's to do with the present though? Yeah, three of swords, heartbreak here, six of wands, though. You guys could be overcoming a heartbreak, though. Yeah, you could be overcoming it. What is the six of wands? The chariot? Yeah, moving forward. Oh. Delays. What type of delays? The ace of swords. Whatever was creating the delays and somebody taking some type of action, because we kept getting that action card. It's like they're getting clarity that they need to finally take some type of action here. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this is somebody that's leaving a third party. What does this mean for my collective? This is King of Wands. Now we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody may be taking action towards you, but they're not in a good energy and they're definitely fi un financially unstable. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Judgment. If you guys cut this person off, somebody, okay, or they've had some type of wake-up call about somebody around them. What's this mean for my collective? Yeah, they, they didn't feel good enough for you. Yeah, but why is the Knight of Cups here though? The High Priestess in reverse. Doubt. It's like they had a they had doubts in <sighs> Yeah, all talk, no action. They were skeptical. They had a fear of change. They were—they just thought they were already projecting negativity into this, the future of this connection, and that's why things were not progressing. It's like they're realizing that you're the empress. They're waking up to that you're the empress or the emperor, and wanting to reconcile with you. Yep, that you're their happily ever after. Ten of Cups. Wow, and the Ten of Pentacles. 
what it, how is um it's like they're waking up about somebody else who was manipulating them cold harsh yeah cruel mm-hmm some of you guys don't know if you can forgive this person though this person seeing you as their person and ready to move forward i don't know if you guys are going to take this person back though mm. how is uh, my collective going to feel the wheel of fortune the sun and the seven of cups what about the seven of cups the eight of cups Ooh, i don't know guys you you do feel, at some point you felt like this was like wish like you thought that this situation did make you very happy and you were optimistic that it was going to change for the better but it's like now i don't know yeah mm. so in a nutshell what this reading is is that you have somebody that definitely hurt you definitely was confused between you and a third party a, a very manipulative third party they're finally seeing the truth they've had a wake-up call they see clearly that you are the one that they want to be with now they are coming back towards you they do are a little bit skeptical or doubtful that you will take them back because of what has happened they're stressed out over you they're very stressed out over you they are coming towards you but i just see you guys in this unforgiving energy i do see them being serious i, I do see them seeing having a lot of clarity and being serious about you know wanting to seeing you as their their end all be all but i don't know if you guys are going to be able to take this person back so that's why i'm not really seeing yet you know where this is going to go okay so let's get a few more cards um We have guarded mm, they are still very guarded and trapped behind their own emotional defenses allow them to fall in love and steps building an empire yeah this person was maybe more focused on money or something else here and that has something to probably do with whoever that third party was they see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy and only holding them back from love we have game over this person also knows that you're no longer playing with them you're no longer exactly it's like you don't need them so you're not going to accept less than what you deserve anymore. And they know this. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. We have mysterious one. The mystery of you intrigues them. You keep them guessing and engaged very different from the rest. We have innocence. Mm, your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves. We have divine blueprint. They're going within to find their higher purpose and discover the meaning of life and this connection yeah stone they are emotionally unavailable it is for your highest good to move on and find your happiness again present energy present energy and going forward we have insatiable they're craving you they want you they have an insatiable thirst the thirst that no one else but you can satisfy craving you more and more anything else we have the journey and we have breakthrough they are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance expect communication really soon and we have this love journey may be long and challenging but so long as you are with them you'll never walk alone so see there's something is changing, but that with the wheel, this is maybe even something that you manifested at some point. Like you guys made there's those changes that you were waiting for. They're finally happening, but it's like almost like there's been so much that has happened between you and this person. Now you're, you're not going to trust this, or you're going to have a hard time trusting this person or believing that it, you're going to feel like it's too good to be true. Yeah. Temptation each day gets harder and harder to resist what they know in your heart to be true. What heart to be true. They see you as their forbidden fruit plotting yeah they're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options yep resurrection what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible and we have release and divine intervention it's almost like this ending or this them walking away from you you walking away from them was divine intervention it was a tower moment for this person yep when they set you free they felt the sting from your absence don't let their silence fool you yeah they're heartbroken over you they are, your silence is very loud and very powerful, okay? Yeah, they are experiencing many power, tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. They're, yeah, you walking away from them, the separation, all those things, it's, they're gaining clarity about who you are to them, how they feel about you in this other situation too. And now they're feeling very foolish. 
Yeah, they feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection, but too embarrassed to come forward. They've been trying to overcome their ego too, guys. Yep, for some of you, this is possibly your twin flame who's gaining a new perspective after resisting the connection for a long time, but they've been going through the dark night of the soul or they're in the process of it. Um, and it's make, yeah, it's helping them to align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. So yeah, this person thought you were too good to be true at some point with the fairy tale card. Now you guys are going to feel like when this comes in, this miracle and this change, you're going to feel like that's too good to be true. Mm -hmm. The tables may be turning guys were like, you were chasing this person at some point. Now you've stopped chasing them. Now they're about to start chasing you and you may be running from them to some degree because you don't chase, you don't trust it. You don't trust that this person is serious about you. Hmm. Interesting. Oops. All right, guys.